Did you know that India once astonished the world with an extraordinary type of steel known as Wootz steel? It was so durable and distinctive that even the famed Damascus swords were crafted from it. As far back as the 300s BCE, Indian warriors wielded these swords, impressing even the mighty army of Alexander the Great. The Romans, too, held this steel in high regard. Wootz steel gained widespread fame across Asia and Europe, revered by warriors and metallurgists alike. Dynasties like the Chalukyas, Guptas, and Mughals relied on these formidable blades blades in their battles. However, when the British colonized India, they perceived this steel as a threat. To suppress it, they established their own factories and dismantled local production, leading to the downfall of India's steel industry. After gaining independence, India aspired to reclaim its legacy. Companies like Tata Steel were established, and pioneers like Dr. M. S. Swaminathan explored innovative applications for steel, from construction to advanced weaponry. Today, India stands as a powerhouse in the global steel industry, exporting premium quality steel worldwide. Ironically, the same British who once sought to cripple India's resources now queue up to purchase Indian steel, 